Me neither, college. Yeah. That, I was very excited to... Uh, Jagger's kind of circling to the inside. Reto in on a low single. What, what I think Moretto's doing a really good job of here is he's not in a hurry. That's a position, and, and Jagger's scrambling out of this, but that's the reason. Yeah, I think a great job by Jagger actually to, to, to scramble through that position. It looks to be pretty tough on top. Yeah, this is uh, his first duel of the season. I believe it is. First period, a three to zero lead for Jagger Ice. He has 136 in riding time. He will have choice. He's going to go down. Direction in that in that yep. last attempt. So if he can get some more angles, it would definitely make some interesting. Oh, a little throw by. A little throw by. Yeah. Ice That's two. Almost go headlock. Three, three points. Three point Sorry. Take down. Yeah. Ice seems to have kind of lost a little energy. Maybe. Yeah, petered um, out a little bit. The uh, he's going to give up the escape with one. Oh yeah. And an extended it may be shot. Coming really quick here. Yeah. I just try to hang on to that leg, but Barreto, great job there. Just using his feet, keeping his motion going. Wint said he'd been the aggressor all of the match, and now uh, he looks to be the one with, you know, a lot of energy. And an escape here from Aisha is going to tie it up. 66 six six with 35 to go. Aisha's definitely shown himself to be the uh, the counter type of wrestler, so it's, right. it's kind of hard right, right there. It's a a there bit of us. You know, head, good head position from Jagger Ice. He felt that shot coming, defended it, and able to run corner right away. Yeah. Get the takedown, three-point takedown in overtime to win that match. Nine to six in overtime. Shock of the Minnesota and redshirt junior Ben Lund. Ben is three and two on the season. He's coming off a fourth place finish at the Cougar Clash. Drax are now in on a leg. Great. Kind of almost a Misdirection shot in some ways there. Great job. And then coming up to his feet. Mm -hmm. Didn't didn't get into that position that we saw in the last match where that submarine. I like that Drexler's wearing the black socks. I think it, it means business to me. Yeah. He's here for business. <laughs> Drexler, another misdirection shot. Yeah. Showing a little uh, diversity in his top game. There, good. There, Drexler that time caught that ankle in a position where Ben Lund's still on bottom, still trying to work to get up and out of there. Doing a good job here, okay. And now he's got that escape. Which strategically has one to give, but... And time's gonna wind out there with, without you know, Ben Lund just unable to get through a win for Gavin Drexler. Four to two gives North Dakota State three team points. Drew's 12 and two on the year. Already 14 matches from Drew. Good job from him, getting us a lot of matches in. We should have known, too, that, that Max Peterson was gonna be aggressive right away with the shooter sleeve on yeah. that right leg. <laughs> Drew Roberts starts probably. down, he's up and out. Matthew Peterson's hands almost slipped that leg in on the right side earlier. That time, Peterson does a good job, hand control, wrist control, up to his feet and out. Peterson's gonna need to answer here quickly. Nice shot, there yeah. it is. You could kind of feel it, and there's a stall call. It, it, that's, was, you could kind of feel it. It, yeah. it just had been a few too many attacks in a row for Drew Robertson, and, and he just felt Max Peterson needed to answer those. Will be ranked number 11 in the country from Cresco, Iowa, sixth year senior, Michael Blockus. Which I think you gotta count that. Yep. Block is trying to find that angle and just runs through. Oh, nice job. Good job from Michael yeah. Block is in that front head. He found the ankle. Block was definitely anticipating him pulling him back in that crab right, yes. right there and did a great job of getting his hips off the load and uh, exploding out. It's exactly what, what he needed to do. You know, after uh, one rotation through the, the lineup, guys will start feeling them. So you save those guys for the for the end, but those guys that can change pace, right? Like Block has just did yeah. on that, that nice Lower takedown, and run right? through that guy. Yeah, run right through Landon Johnson. That Acting, think about like you're in a state of uh, fight or flight mode all the time, you know? Block is wasting no time on his feet here, trying to get back in on the legs. He's got another takedown. <laughs> So it, it's essentially an 11 point lead. It's gonna need two takedowns for a technical fall. 
he can force these positions a little bit more, it's going to be to his benefit. Kind of what you said, Blocks wasn't able to, to finish as explosively there. It yeah. gave Johnson just that little bit of a split second to get to a position that he wanted to. He looked yep. he looked really comfortable right there, and I think that that's going to be uh, somewhere where at least 10 foot of clearance from the, you don't want him touching the hard That was one of my favorite things is a, uh, to watch a college wrestling is the drag back into the center. Yeah. And you're not going anywhere. Well, no, come on back. Block us with the takedown, 16 to two lead. Again, riding time is locked. And that is what we'll do. Gives the Gophers five more team points. They now lead in the duel. They wrestle at a very high pace. They're very tough individuals. It's gonna be a bit of a battle here. Brenner, a little bit jumped the whistle there in the restart. For those that don't know in college wrestling, when uh, an athlete takes injury time. Ooh. There's that left hand post kind of worked against him as Brenner tried to slide by, but. Wow. Just. Oh. I, yeah, I think we're going to get a challenge here from. We, we are going to get a challenge from, from Obi Blanc. Take me all the way down to the mat, drive my hips to the mat. So, Brenner, great job continuing wrestling. That's always a great, a great thing, right? You always should be doing that regardless of what the mm -hmm. call is. And Brenner, good job again. Just trying to finish this takedown so off, close. and Howes trying to fight it. Oh. Brenner Howes is going to need a reversal to stop that from happening. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Gonna be able to clear out from underneath there. Ride out the entire third period from Blaine Brenner. Four more team points. That makes the dual score 21 to three after six matches. Sparks moving up from 165 last year. Uh, looks has filled out uh, 174 pretty well. Wrestles really hard. We got a three point takedown for Gavin Sachs. So Sachs will start bound him in the third, second period. I, I think that, but he's just trying to hang on to the, that leg right now. Yeah, not a good spot to be where you kind of know you're yeah. you beat a little bit there. And Sachs has done a good job of just being really patient in a lot of these positions, whether it's mm -hmm. been on top or. Five seconds. And that's going to be another top 20 ranked win for Gavin Sachs. That Sparks is hurt. Yeah. And the crowd, I think, appreciates the, the effort yeah. there. But a 8-0 win for Gavin Sachs. Wasley out of Hammond, Wisconsin. Redshirt freshman, 4-2 on the season. Wasley, uh, I, I think, maybe weighed in at 174 pounds or maybe very close to 174 pounds. Wasley is doing a great job with his pressure. That one, he got a little overextended yep. coming in. Just a well-timed yeah. double from Adam Cherney. Very, very tough to defend a shot when this guy has secured both your legs and squeezing them very tight. Cherney, a little forward roll. Able to clear out of it. Stalling call when, when guys go out of bounds is if, if we're on the edge of the mat and nothing seemingly close to happening, let's just call a stalemate and bring him back to the center so that one wrestler can't game the situation in some way and, and just kind of circle and shove a guy out of bounds and get a cheap stall call. Yeah. So I, I like when the refs do that. They, they, let's get let's bring the action back to the center. Nice takedown by Wazley wrestling through that position. Momentum can shift at, a, at a, any kind of position uh -huh. at all times. Right here, Cherney's. A short time, Cherney's into this, coming up to the body. He trails in the match 5-4, starting bottom in the third. Just a great job catching ankle, that little throw over the top. You know, and now he's going to that go behind. He gets that ankle hooked. It'll be a takedown. Turney's got that good hook. He's there going it to is. take it up for three points for Devin Wosley with 36 to go. Good effort by Wosley, giving up the first takedown. Continue to wrestle through all the positions. Uh, that, that position here in that corner where they, they ended up going out of bounds, that was what changed that. That was the turning point, he, you know. He, very, very easily, but he, he contested it, he fought it, he battled. 
Ends up going out of bounds, no points scored, come back to the center, and after eight matches, moving us now up to 197 pounds for North Dakota State. It will be Spencer Mooberry out of Osage, Iowa. Love to see Iowa guys out here. 50 seconds to go in the first period. Nice dot. Little dunk on it from Garrett Joles. He's around for three point take. Wow. Yeah, it kind of goes back to the uh, all the momentum shifts we've been talking about in all these different positions. But that's like that's a big one, right? Uh, you know, it, right now you're you're seeing Garrett's feet are moving a ton. Yeah. He's not standing still at all. He's constantly in motion, and that I think more than anything is why he was able to just get that take down there. There's a really good mm -hmm. shot from Spencer Mover in on deep on that leg, but. Really, really heavy hips from Garrett Joles. His hips look strong right there. Yes, they do. That was it, extremely good really defense. That was a good push. shot. Oh, I hope this works out. I love when Matt gets excited about cradles. Yeah. I am excited. He's got this pretty tight. There's going to be a fall for Garrett Joles with a near side cradle. There it is. Extremely pumped up. The fall comes in five minutes and 55 seconds. Too exciting. 5.55 on the fall for Garrett Joles. is Devin Dawson out of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. A junior, two and four on the season. And for the Gophers, from Simley High School out of Inver Grove Heights, Bennett Tabor. Right, they're both staying in more of a 50-50 position right now. And, and uh, that's why there really hasn't been any uh, dominant takedowns coming out of there. Tabor up and out right away in the second period. He leads now one to zero. There's a great wow. shot from Dawson. Drives the upper body oh. and gets the takedown. Just kept running his yeah. feet all the way through that position. Good job on Dawson to make that adjustment mid-match. Need a little bit extra aggression. Need to bring his hips a little bit tighter and he's able to pick up the takedown. Tabor up and out again now. Three to two lead for Devin Dawson. Yeah, and, and from right there. now, yeah, there's that limp arm we were talking about. And yeah, nice that's gonna result. Yeah, good yeah. job making that adjustment, felt it. Yeah. Dawson's trying to keep that wizard, trying to keep all of his weight on his head and his head stuck in the mat. Someone called the and big ben, man roll. Yeah, Bennett's doing a good job just standing under the arms, controlling the hips and, and, and securing this ride out and the win. A six to three win for Bennett Tabor. Gives the Gophers three more team points in this duel, and that will result in a 33 to seven win for the 12th ranked Minnesota Golden Gophers.